Also in Washington, health care reform taking center stage. President Obama meeting with a group of Democrats today to press for their support of his plan. But House Republican leaders urging Democratic skeptics to force changes in the legislation. Earlier, the president addressed critics of the plan. These opponents of reform would rather score political points than offer relief to Americans who have seen premiums double and costs grow three times faster than wages. They would maintain a system that works for the insurance and the drug companies while becoming increasingly unaffordable for families and for businesses. My next guest supports the House bill. Dr. James Rohack is president of the American Medical Association, representing the interests of more than 250,000 physicians in both the public and private sectors. Dr. Rohack joins us now from our Washington newsroom. Dr. Rohack, welcome to Bloomberg News. It's great to be here, Mark. Sir, why did you come out in support of the House bill last week when you've previously expressed concerns about a new government-run plan? Well, clearly the AMA is committed to having comprehensive health system reform this year so that all Americans have affordable, quality health insurance. And our endorsement of H.R. 3200 allowed the process, the legislative process, to continue. Dr. Rohack, any assurances from the White House or Congress that a new government plan would pay more than Medicare rates, which doctors say now are just too low? Well, clearly what's in the bill is important for patients. What it does is it eliminates pre-existing condition exclusions that currently exist in the system. The other thing that it does is it, it fundamentally changes a flawed Medicare formula that's going to threaten seniors' access to physicians. So when we took a look at the bill as a whole, we felt that it was a very important first step to, on a legislative process that has many steps, and we want to be there to help Congress shape a final bill that meets high-quality, affordable health insurance coverage for every American. Sir, you have heard the criticism that uh, we're broke. It's, it just costs too much money. How do you answer those critics? Well, clearly, we want to reduce the unnecessary costs in American health care. We have administrative waste. We also have defensive medicine that we practice because we're afraid of being sued. So we believe that all America needs to come together and say, what's the goal? affordable health insurance coverage for every American. Let's work on getting reduce the unnecessary cost right. and improve the quality. Dr. James Rohack, the president of the American Medical Association. Dr. Rohack, uh, we're going to keep you through the break because we have a couple more questions to ask you. And we're back with Dr. James Rohack. He's the president of the American Medical Association, joining us from our bureau in Washington. Dr. Rohack, thanks for staying through the break. Uh, what about calls for a surtax on wealthy Americans to help pay for health care reform? What does your membership think of that, considering a lot of doctors would presumably be affected? Well, clearly our AMA policy, which is crafted by physicians representing everyone in the, in the United States through states and specialty societies, have always said that the tax needs to change. Right now, individuals don't get any tax advantage when they purchase individual health insurance, whereas the employer gets a huge tax advantage from policies back in World War II. We think we do need to look at the tax code to try and balance it, make it fair for everyone. Uh, sir, there are proposals that would change Medicare and Medicaid reimbursements and would mean less money for doctors. Where does the AMA stand on that issue? Well, clearly we have a system that needs to be changed because the baby boomers, is, when they hit Medicare in three short years, the current formula, the current way we're funding is unsustainable. So we are committed to try and reduce that unnecessary cost in health care so we can make things more affordable. We know that if you don't pay a physician the ability to keep their office open, they may have to close and then the patient has no access at all, regardless of their payer. Uh, President Obama is in advocating caps on malpractice awards. Should that be included as part of an overall reform measure? Well, clearly the president was committed when he spoke to our AMA House of Delegates to, to recognize that defensive medicine is one of those unnecessary costs. While he said he wasn't a favor of caps, he was willing to look at some other alternatives. We provided some alternatives to the Congress. We'll work with Congress to try and say, let's create something that aligns uh, incentives so we can provide good, high-quality health care 
reduce variation, and reduce the unnecessary costs of defensive medicine. There's been, uh, unfortunately, as, as politics sometimes uh, occurs in, in the political arena, there has been some misinformation about what's going on. Is, is there anything that's right now in the public domain that just gives you grief, that you say that's just not, that's not correct? Well, clearly there are a lot of rhetoric that tries to not be focused on what is the ultimate goal. And we believe the ultimate goal should be affordable, quality health insurance coverage for every American that preserves choice, choice of their physician, and choice how they want to be covered. And for those that can't afford it, to give them tax help, tax subsidies, so they can afford and own their own health insurance. We think we're committed, we know, this is the time to do it, and as the AMA, we are committed to watch this process through its many steps along the way. Are you concerned that this will not get done? You know, America, when it focuses on a goal, achieves it. We put a man on the moon. We can get this done this year also. Yeah, but uh, doctor, uh, with all due respect, putting man on the moon didn't really go through the political arena. That's a private sector enterprise. We're talking about politics here, and politics being what it is, sometimes it gets bogged down either in the minutia or the petty. Well, again, I believe that as we take a look at those in America th who only get their health care through charity or through the emergency room, who can't uh, afford to provide health insurance coverage for, for their family, that's unacceptable, and it needs to change. That's the reason why the AMA is committed to, for our patients to try and change this system to preserve choice and to preserve the freedoms that we hold so dear in America. Dr. James Rohack, president of the American Medical Association, talking health care reform from Washington. Dr. Rohack, thanks.